Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for February 2024. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. We'll start with this post from James Newton King, looking at how you can get visibility into the cool metrics ASP.NET Core provides for you in .NET 8. So you have two options. You have the uh, forward-looking Aspire dashboards. You also have these Grafana dashboards, which can wire into your ASP.NET Core app and give you these amazing dashboards to visualize what's going on in that app. Okay, uh, Windows Forms developers, we've got a post from Klaus here looking at 64-bit world and what it means to you. So he goes kind of deep into, you know, the the out-of-process designer, your migration options, etc. A great must-read post for Windows Forms developers. Looking at tooling, we have this post from Maddie looking at what's in the 17.9 release. Some neat features here, including Blazor scaffolding and uh, Razor snippets. The VS team has a bunch of recap posts uh, looking back at 2023 and all the amazing features. A neat one here that he links to is from James Montemagno looking at top 10 features for .NET developers in VS 2022. Um, some neat things here include HTTP file support, Copilot, of course, uh, built-in uh, PRs, etc. cetera. Uh, neat post here from Ali looking at the NuGet release, a neat feature here I'm excited about is support for .NET search command. And we have a post as we're starting to roll out the previews of .NET 9. Here's a post looking at the overall vision of .NET 9. So this post talks about the high level vision for uh, cloud native and AI, as well as spelling out that the preview discussion is now moving over to GitHub discussions. So you've got discussion post here on .NET 9 Preview 1, as well as another discussion talking about the overall strategy of moving a lot of the .NET Preview discussion over to GitHub discussions. Uh, Aspire has Preview 3 out with improvements for the dashboard, Orleans, and a bunch more. And in community, we've got a post from Kim Philpotts looking at all the amazing things that the team built for the Maui Community Toolkit last year and uh, highlight a open source project in community, the EF Core Visualizer. This gives you visualization support for SQL Server as well as Postgres. That's all the highlights for this month. All the links are in the description below.